Now see errors in measurement that is the next part of the unit 1. You know measurement is actually the essential process of comparison. It means any physical quantity is compared with a standard that is unit which has got the same nature as that of the quantity. So, when you are measuring something is your some value. So, sometimes you get there is a difference in the true value and observed value. So, the error is actually the difference in the true value and in the measured value that is called error. There are two types of error we which we discuss basically first one is a systematic error. In systematic errors there are the three part first we take here instrumental second one we take here imperfection and the fourth third one we take here personal. So, see here in the systematic error can be three types instrumental error suppose calibration of the instrument has not been done correctly zeros of the instrument like vernier calipers you might have seen if it is the zero does a zero of vernier scale does not coincide with the zero of the main scale it may be to the left or it may be to the right of the zero of the main scale it means the vernier scale may have the zero error that may be positive or that may be have negative so the vernier calipers may have error this type of errors are known as instrumental error imperfection error you don't know how to measure simply you are using wrong technique to measure you are not uh, knowing properly uh, the proper method to measure you doesn't put the instrument properly so all these are called here the error due to imperfection when you don't know the procedure of the measurement properly personal error is your here if you are not setting the instrument properly you are not taking care of all the factors while measuring when you are looking at the scales or at the day readings you are not putting your eyes properly so these are called here the personal errors so second error is random error see here the random errors occurs irregularly and they are random with respect to the sign and size and you do not know the actual reason why are the readings are coming differently at the different time the random errors may be positive and negative. So, there are basically two types of error one is systematic error and one is random errors. Now, say here absolute error relative error and percentage error. Suppose, suppose if you are measuring any quantity and you are getting the measurement like this A 1, A 2, A 3 and A n. You have measured the quantity n times and you are getting all these readings. You can take their mean that is A mean is equal to A 1 plus A 2 plus plus A n divided by n. This can be also written this A i i is equal to 1 to n here 1 upon n. This a mean these are the random errors you can say every time you are measuring and getting the different values by taking their average or the mean value we can remove it. So, this one we can get a mean and this a mean is considered here true value. If the true value is not given to you here then a mean is actually true value. Now, if you see if you have taken the true value and these are the each measured values. So, you will find the differences here delta a 1 change in the first difference in the first measurement actually that is a mean minus a 1. Here change in the second measured value a mean minus a 2 similarly go for the n uh, go for the n times. So, you are seeing in each measurement there is a difference. So, these errors magnitude of these errors are called absolute errors because these differences may be positive and negative. So, the absolute value of this or you can say the magnitude of the difference of the 
ट्रू वैल्यू एंड मेजर्ड वैल्यूज इज नोन एज एप्सल्यूट एरर्स सो वी कैन गेट नाउ मीन एप्सल्यूट एरर्स मीन एप्सल्यूट एरर इज दिस मीन इज इक्वल टू ए वन प्लस चेंज वॉज दैट इज एरर इन दब्सल्यूट एरर इन द सेकेंड मेजरमेंट प्लस ए एन डिवाइडेड बाई एन सो दिस इज कॉल्ड मीन एप्सल्यूट एरर एंड नाउ द फाइनल मेजरमेंट ऑफ द एनी क्वान्टिटी इज रिटर्न ए मीन प्लस माइनस दैट इज मीन एप्सल्यूट एरर so any measurement of the quantity is represented by this this is actually treated as a true value this is a true value and this is called mean absolute error it means the measurement of the quantity is lying between a mean plus this is a mean absolute error and a mean minus mean absolute error so measurement of the quantity is lying between this and this now see relative errors so relative errors error is equal to simply the mean absolute error divided by mean value that is true value this is called relative error if you multiply this by 100 that will become a percentage error so percentage error is equal to mean absolute error divided by a mean multiplied by 100 so this is called percentage error now see here the refractive index measured is if you are measuring refractive index of a material it you are finding 1.45 1.56 1.54 1.44 1.55 1.56 1.57 1.58 1.59 now you have to calculate mean value that means true value of the refractive index mean absolute error relative error and percentage error so as you have done all the formula you have to apply them it's very simple so mean absolute error suppose i am taking the symbol for refractive index is mu so mu is equal to simply we can write here 1.45 plus 1.56 plus 1.54 plus 1.44 plus 1.54 plus 1.53 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 6 step divided by 6 when you are dividing by 6 you will be getting the average value is coming around 1.51 so this is called mu mean so actually this is a, a true value of refractive index now you have to get absolute errors so see here absolute errors when you are getting like here 1.51 minus 1.45 is equal to 0.06 then you are getting 1.51 minus 1.56 then you are getting 0.05 1.51 one minus 1.54 is getting minus 0.03 then 1.51 minus 1.44 you are getting here 0.07 then 1.51 minus 1.54 again you are getting that is uh, this one that is minus 0.03 and then the last one 1.51 minus 1.53 you are getting minus 0.02 so these are error in each measurement see some are having the values positive these two and they are negative so errors can be positive as well as negative but when we are going to calculate mean absolute errors so you have to take the absolute value of all these and then you have to divide by the 6 you will be getting mean absolute error so we can write mean absolute error is equal to 0.06 plus 0.05 plus this is minus but we will be taking absolute value that is a magnitude so 0.03 plus 0.07 plus 
Again, this is absolute value to 0 0.03 plus 0 0.02 divided by 6. When you are dividing by 6 and on solving, you will be getting and after rounding it off, you will be getting 0 0.04. Now, you have got this 0 0.04. So, now I am just uh, remo removing this part and we, we have to calculate now relative error and percentage error. So, for relative error, we need only this and this. So, no need to take all these. So, relative error that is called also fractional error. Relative error is equal to this is 0 0.04 divided by 1.51. This is plus minus and you will be getting it is your plus minus 0 0.03. And now the percentage error just multiply by 100. So, you will be getting percentage error is equal to 3 percent just to multiply by 100. So, how do we write result? Result is always written a mean plus minus absolute error. It means the result can be written 1.51 plus minus 0 0.03. This is the result with the fractional error and also we can write 1.51 plus minus 3 percent. This is the result with the percentage error.